Okay, so if we continued on with this options bar up here, we could see we could choose the options to have all caps. We could choose it to be in all lower cases. We could change the uh, the strike through whatever. We could do that. We could underline it, and we could put a line right through the letters right there. So we could also combine those and just kind of see what we want with that. Also, we, we could change the distance between the horizontal letters, as we see there. We could change how we want them to be. We could also change the the size of our letters going up and down vertically, as we see right here. So if we wanted it, you know, 50%, we could see this font at 50% getting squished down like the buns going on the patty <laughs> right there. We could also change this, which will move it up and down, as we see there. This also right here, this will change the font size, you know, horizontally. So let's say we want a more, you know, fat kind of font, we could do that as well. Also, we see this will move it from right to left. Actually, this will give it an angle. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So let's say we want to put 45 degrees on there. It'll angle our font for 45 degrees for us. Okay? So this is the options bar for the type tool. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and delete this. So this, we would select this and just hit the backspace key. Now let's say we want to type on a path tool. Okay, let's say we want to choose this one right here. First off, we would need a path for this selection to be chosen. So let's say we want to make a little interesting path like this. So now we could go ahead and select this and just kind of, when we see the little plus right there, we could go ahead and click and the cursor will magically appear. So let's say we could type something else. We could go, you know, type a little sentence or something. Okay, and as you can see, we have our sentence now, and it is kind of going along this little line for us right there as well. Also, if we select this, notice that we don't, if we uh, selected the text, notice we could do all the changes that we could do to any, you know, standard text. Okay? So this is the way you would use the type on a path tool. And this is concluding up here the type options bar. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on and look at some other tools for us.